What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So every single week I do this video where I show you guys how much gold I made on my main realm selling transmog only. And uh, do be noted that I only post my auctions up for 48 hours and I don't do any cancel or undercutting scans. So we're going to log on to two different tunes, one selling gray and white transmog, the other one selling, well, everything else. And uh, the ways that I use in order to uh, fill up the auction house with various transmog is all in the 0 to 10 million gold guide. Even the complete crafted transmog section is in the 0 to 10 million gold guide. So if you have that, make sure to check it out. If you don't have it, use the link down below and uh, use the discount code DRAGONFLIGHT and you'll get it for 50% off. So I sold on my white and gray transmog to 79 auctions, 109,000 gold. That's I usually make like 100k on this tune. And the only thing I'm really doing is recrafting the base Shadowlands legendary items. And I go to the vendor and I purchase stuff like this, like the Sun Cured Vest. I go to a lot of different vendors. I have a spreadsheet in the gold guide of all the vendors selling unique looking transmog. And I just go around, I buy a tree of each item and I restock whenever I'm out. So the only big item worth mentioning, I guess, is the Frost Main uh, Club, which is extremely easy to get in Don Moreau. And it's actually sold for a decent price. Also, this Shadow Ghast here is a decent price at 12 and 10k. They usually just sell for like a couple thousand gold max. So it's nice to to uh, to get some big profit on these. Uh, also, the Arcane Forge Short Sword is from a vendor. It costs you like a couple of silver. So it's nice profit. But I don't spend a lot of time on this tune because... Uh, uh, well, I, I don't like to sit on the auction house and uh, undercut and post. It's the most boring thing about uh, gold making, in my opinion, spending time on the auction house. But it's also necessary in order to make gold. So I, uh, I just keep it very simple in terms of gray and white items. Uh, I do farm a lot of the uh, items that came back with the patch 1017. Uh, but then again, it's transmog. They don't sell that fast. But whenever I'm uh, I'm out and I've sold out my stock, I just go and I do those farms again. But everything, very little maintenance on this tune. And that's key for all uh, the transmog uh, sales that I do. It's to try and keep it low maintenance. So it's pretty much being able to make enough gold to play the game for free and buy whatever I want to buy just by dealing with the transmog. But I am doing transmog on other realms as well, lower populated realms with better prices, and I of course have other bank tunes selling, uh, well, everything else. So this week I sold uh, 311 auctions, which is uh, it's decent, but I don't think it's going to be a good clean out because I haven't really noticed any good sales while I've been checking my, uh, my mailbox. But Grizzly Chest from uh, Sludge Fan, it's not that bad. This right here is crafted. Deadmines Cleaver is not crafted. You can obtain those by finishing the uh, the quest chain in Westfall, and then uh, you can like farm these mobs that can drop it. Ice Spain is still doing good from Nax, getting some good gold on that. Barbaric uh, Cloth West again, Sludge Fen. Uh, is there anything else cool? Ice Bane selling pretty well. Polar is also like the frost resistance set. Only 167,000 gold though on the first 100 auctions. So uh, hopefully I've missed some bigger sales in these auctions. Even if I haven't and I average like 150,000 gold per 100 auctions, I'm still going to make over half a million gold. So it's not too shabby. But 140,000 gold on the next 100 auctions. Again, glacial frost resistance gear. And uh, Mooncloth Robes are doing well. Primal Baskin from Sul Gurub. A bunch of crafted stuff this week, really. Rat of Lich King Katanas. That the Carapace is also crafted. Ice Bane again right here. So if anyone wonders if it's too late to get into like the Sul Gurub craft, Skolomans, Nax crafts, absolutely not. Like on some certain items, I'm making more profit now than I did the uh, like right after the release because everyone jumped on it and the the profit margin was really bad. And uh, let's see how much it is when this one resets. The next hundred auctions is hundred and fifty thousand gold. Ice Bane, some more uh, crafted items right here with the Oath Keeper, the Rage Steel. Uh, is there anything else? A bunch of minor stuff. Polar set, Frost Resistance again. Restrong Voodoo Bow, that's from Isle of Thunder, farmed. 
but uh, nah, nothing, nothing too cool. And that's what I was afraid of. Like, as I usually notice a big sale because I always post all my auctions at the same time. So uh, when everything expires, I repost it. And when I'm done reposting the expired auctions, I can see my latest hundred sales and uh, haven't seen any big sales. So uh, finishing up this clean out right here. And I can take a look at the uh, the chat window and TSM will tell me how much I cleaned out in total. 471,000 gold plus the 109,000 gold and the white and gray. So 580,000 gold this week. It's a bit lower than uh, the previous weeks, but uh, the amount of auctions was higher though. So I guess I just got uh, absolutely destroyed by people doing undercut scans and they probably got the bigger sales while I was uh, was behind on those. But still, not a bad week at all. Uh, it is what it is. So if you guys got any questions whatsoever, leave them down below in the, uh, the comment section. And don't forget to check out the 0 to 10 million gold guide. If you already have that and you're happy with it, you're definitely also going to enjoy your stay at the VIP Discord. But that's also linked down below. That was it. Appreciate you guys watching my videos and I will see you all back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, bye bye.